Reform the criminal justice bail system is making its way through the Tennessee legislature in an attempt to keep criminals off the streets. But opponents of the bill say it won't work, and a few even wonder if it might be unconstitutional. WRG's Ashley Paul breaks it down. In the wake of the Whitehaven shooting that left an officer and suspect dead, many are wondering, could it have been avoided? In an interview last week, Senator Brent Taylor says yes. Had we not had that ability to pay calculator, uh, perhaps we could have had a different outcome. Which only furthers his reasoning to pass Senate Bill 2565, which would, quote, remove the defendant's financial condition as a consideration, end quote, when determining bail. He went to the bail hearing room where they used the ability to pay calculator and determined that he had no resources, so they essentially let him out on his own recognizance. Josh Spickler with Just City opposes the bill and says it could even be deemed unconstitutional. People are charged with new offenses while they're out on release. That is true. But the reality is that that happens very infrequently. Spickler says, according to their studies, only 10% of defendants released on their own recognizance reoffend. And if they're charged in a violent crime, that number drops to 2%. But Senator Taylor still has his doubts. We see this time and time and time again where these people uh, are, are violent. They're put back out on the street and they commit violent acts. Senator Taylor also passed another bill in the Senate that would, quote, require the magistrate to give first consideration to ensuring the safety of the community, end quote, when setting bail. Spickler says this bill would only pressure the judges to keep putting more people in jail. We are tweaking constitutional guarantees and rights to try to respond to our crime problem. We're looking in the wrong place. These bills have both already passed the House and Senate. They could take effect as early as July 1st, but Spickler believes they could be challenged. For your news leader, I'm Ashley Paul, WREG News Channel 3.